Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to Astral Luck. So this is a reading that I'm doing for my friend, the same uh, friend for whom I did a reading uh, how uh, that I have posted before, uh, combining astrology and tarot. So in that whole sequence, uh, reading through the chart, uh, I one of the observations that I shared with my friend was that there are prominent planets in 8th house and when there are prominent planets either in 8th house or in the sign of Scorpio, it denotes that the soul has ma made a mistake in the past life and the in this life the soul wants to rectify that and usually this rectification has to be done individually you won't get help from anyone that is one aspect of that so to de go deep into the solution and where the problem originated or what happened so we have to uh, deconstruct the eighth house or see where the in which nakshatra those planets are placed so uh, first of all uh, eighth house for this person is the sign of cancer and the planets that are placed here are sun in pushya nakshatra and mercury in ashlesha nakshatra so that's the only information that you need to know for this reading so Sun uh, placed in Pushya Nakshatra means that this uh, person had some kind of mistake related to a guru or a guru like person at his job because uh, or more precisely to first of all Saturn is rules Pushya Nakshatra and then the deity for Pushya Nakshatra is Brihaspati so I feel I definitely feel that this person uh, did not recognize a subordinate who was so knowledgeable and who could be his superior uh, in matters of knowledge and uh, knowledge creation. So he was like using that subordinate and not uh, letting that person move ahead in the career and has used a subordinate in that way who could have been almost like a teacher for him if he was willing to learn the universe would have sent a young person as a teacher or a guru uh, in this person's workplace and then the that person was willing to teach him a lot of things but this person decided to use him rather than learn the lessons and that's why uh, it does happens that uh, this person's son could be in 8000 that position also it's in the sign of cancer so i definitely feel that this person has a lot of potential now to has a lot of potential to deal with such issues in his life through matters of emotions through depending on uh, people who are close to him whom he can treat like his own uh, mother or something like that so because i know this person personally my uh, initial reaction was that aren't you facing similar problems in your workplace you keep teaching a lot of uh, innovative things to your colleagues and your boss and all they never recognize for you that and you end up seeing their presentations using all the work you have done and not giving you enough recognition if they even mention you they mention you as the last person on the list they never recognize you and you feel bad about it so you are uh, facing the same emotions that the per person in your past life was uh, dealing with so it's the karma that is com coming in reverse so on an emotional energetic level one of the solution for this person is to not cry a lot about his supervisor not giving him all the recognition that he deserves and all because it 
it's the past karma that is playing here but what is the solution i don't know but on an energetic level uh, i think that uh, first of the very first step is not to feel bad and not to create that cycle again by uh, cursing the present supervisor uh, for not recognizing him that is one aspect that's the sun part of the eighth house and then we have mercury in ashlesha mercury is in its own nakshatra mercury rules ashlesha nakshatra and deity for this nakshatra is uh, sarp which is snakes snakes represent guardian of knowledge and snakes represent a guardian of treasure so uh, in past life you actually were guardian of a knowledgeable guru whom you could have created a big person you could have provided him fame you would have created a big guru out of the, that person rather you used that person and you uh, guarded all the knowledge that uh, he had and now the roles are getting reversed so again uh, right now uh, the most easy solution for this person that i think is that he should share his thoughts and knowledge with others freely because one time the karmic balance will happen and immediately after that he will start getting everything on the positive side and he'll keep gaining things the eighth house transformation would be tough Uh, that uh, releasing knowledge for him would not be easy because he would feel very uh, frustrated about that but one day he will reach a point that everything will add up for him and then he after that sharing knowledge would be making him something of uh, uh, as a valuable person and would help him to go further so now the question to taro is what can he do to actually move forward in this direction how to uh, add up things in like right now it uh, the question that i'm asking here is to be more clearly because i know it in my brain i'm not able to express it in words the question that i'm asking is uh, how can he get into this process more peacefully without Uh, feeling frustrated about the whole transformation of sharing knowledge and not cursing his superiors his colleagues who are using him right now because you have to go through that whole process because you have done that to someone that is there you really cannot escape that that's what i feel uh, if you are in that kind of situation everything is happening to you because of a reason but then how can you rectify it in the most peaceful way so right now these two cards are showing his state of mind he's waiting and praying that some miracle will happen and uh, let him out of the situation because this is a constant cycle wherever he goes and joins a job he breaks his heart because people use him and he moves on to the next job because that's a pattern in his life he cannot stick to one job because of the frustration he usually ends up in moving to a new job and subconsciously he knows that one day he would find balance in his life that is the good part thanks to other pl planetary placements he did not lose his mind he did not end up going to an asylum so that is quite evident on his chart but again he wants that recognition materialistic gains for his work that he's doing all the time so the solution for this for independent long term gains are something that we have to look for and the cards are see the cards are falling out in the similar way talking about same things so materialistic gains something has to end so for ending things ketu is a good planet that's what i i would see so ketu for this person is placed uh, in 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 i don't remember 
in purvashada nakshatra it's placed in purvashada nakshatra ruled by venus venus is more related to females and luxury and also something has to end with something so okay what i'm seeing here is that he need to end his ego in terms of the pride that he associates with luxury and all those things he is in a quite comfortable state in terms of his life and he always aspires to make things even more luxurious uh in his heart but he doesn't spell it out openly uh, i also got to know when i kept on asking him because of this particular combination ketu in a uh, venus nakshatra because uh ketu it never happens that if ketu is, is there in a certain house or nakshatra you will not have feelings for that house you rather will have more uh, feelings but the ketu is an indicator that don't walk on that path you have already walked on that path and you have ended up in this place please don't walk on that path again don't repeat that mistake so what the cards here are telling that end that luxury uh, the goal of achieving bigger name for yourself bigger luxurious name for yourself uh, that luxury keeps following you wherever you go people recognizing you, uh, recognize you it's already over and done and because of creating that kind of image for yourself you have ended up in this situation uh you should be focused more on your actions and your actions would be more uh, speaking for yourself it would be a by product that uh, name and recognition would come to you you should not get carried away for that or, or ri- rather you should not aspire for that that's the whole change that transformation he needs to bring in himself to achieve that and that's when he would attract people in his life which are or those kind of people who are more at his own wavelength and can give him guidance to move forward and take a risk leap of faith towards manifesting a good image for himself someone who is quite energetic someone who is quite uh, goal oriented someone who can achieve things very quickly and someone who is quite aggressive he'll create that name for himself he'll but if he constantly only thinks about creation of uh, wealth for himself creation of Im- as luxurious image for himself that wherever people go to, uh, wherever he goes people follow him uh, then it would be little awkward uh, that he would never achieve that but he let goes of that desire and keeps working on things and keep sharing whatever ideas he has with others uh, he has if he shares those ideas with others then what will happen is that eventually one day that moment will come that the pain will end because he has paid his karmic debt and what i'm seeing here is that he will find someone who would work as an collaborator manager as an equal someone who would work as an equal to show him a path which would be quite uh again if I, whenever i see fool and uh, just as a tarot card it has a very different meaning but when i see the fool card it always reminds me of uh lord kal bhairav some uh, one from hindu tradition would immediately recognize what i'm talking about but for others what i'm trying to tell you is that he would uh be the one who would do the right thing without thinking of consequences uh yesterday i made a video where i spoke about brahma and uh, his fifth head which got chopped off so there is a story where rudra 
chops off his fifth head. I'll get into more details whenever I make a video about Adhra Nakshatra. But then the Rudra also had to get into a very big cycle of transformation because he had committed an act which was right but which was also sinful. It was right in that moment but it was quite sinful. So he had to go through a transformation and then he becomes Kal Bhairav after transformation. So for all those people who are who's not understanding anything about this, please don't worry. It's not required. Uh, if it, All those who are studying Vedic Astrology, they will understand. Uh, for others who are just keen on this, wait for the right moment. Maybe you are meant to learn astrology and you will learn the story and the connections and the meanings somewhere in your life. But going through that transformation, what I'm seeing here is that this person is becoming someone who is holding authority on all his passions. He has all his passions under control. Want represents passion. Want also represents dharma, fire. So he has control on the right things. He would do everything in the more righteous way. So this person is going to achieve that situation. And he would be recognized for that. And then we have the moon card here, which is also talking about his mind. Uh, typically, a tarot moon card would talk about fears and emotions and other things because I'm reading from the astrological perspective too. I would see that he would overcome his fear. Uh, right now, he has a lot of confidence issues because nobody recognizes him uh, for his full potential. They do recognize him, how talented he is, but after that, he never gets anything for that, right? So he loses his confidence. What's the point of being talented if I have to ask for everything? If I have to buy a car, I have to ask for a big loan. And then uh, I, if I, I am that good, why is my salary not justified in that way? That's the kind of feeling he has right now. Uh, Self-esteem is so bad. But... Somewhere he, in his mind, he'll have the confidence that when he needs something, uh, things will be arranged. But when he wants something, he would understand that wants and needs are two different things because he is going to achieve that king of wants situation that he would understand that wants and needs are very different and he would uh, get into a situation where his mind would not play tricks with him because right now he gets into that desperate mode because of lack of self-esteem and he would do anything to get a when I'm saying uh, he would do anything, I don't mean for him to uh, get into the lowest and lowest form of cheating, but uh, he would, yeah do anything to self-sacrifice his peace to get that extra benefit. Um, if he's supposed to work eight hours a day, he would agree to work willingly, knowingly, he would agree to work 14 hours a day for the same salary or maybe uh, 5% increment. That's what I'm talking about. He would agree to do anything of that kind with self-sacrifice. So he would understand that that self-sacrifice is not required and he would not get into it. And right now, uh, so the cards are now pushing us to read on the other aspect uh, of holding on to knowledge. This is, uh, till now what I, I saw here was describing his current situation and where he's heading because of this situation and immediately the four of pentacles uh, brought back the attention to the problem of holding back the knowledge because he has fear that if I he shares that knowledge with others others will misuse it or will use it without recognizing him so that's something that he's facing that problem so uh, now the we are looking at 
that aspect. So I'm taking other cards back because these cards might be useful to read this. So what he should do. Okay, three of wands come back. Wait for the right moment. Okay, what the cards are telling that don't uh, release your knowledge immediately. Wait for the right moment. Your knowledge is important and your knowledge will help others to move forward in life. But you usually go and give your knowledge to others even before they know that they need it. Let them get into a situation where they would recognize the importance of your knowledge. Don't go them. Don't go to them and <laughs> don't go them. <laughs> I don't know where my words are going. Uh, my grammar is going, but yeah, because I'm more focused on reading the cards. So forgive me if I have been talking rubbish. Uh, I uh, even before the uh, recognizing this one because this is the first time I re recognize that. I'm speaking weird language now. Anyhow, uh, coming back to the reading, what they are saying is that don't give them things before the right time. This person has an habit that he would give information even before the fight happens. So they are in such comfortable situation. They think that uh, they think that everything that is being offered to them by this person is something that they naturally deserve it. Uh, no, they let them go through this situation and then when you share information, you celebrate your success because they'll recognize you for that and you shine like the sun. So that is a simple thing. You don't have to hold on to your knowledge. You have to wait for the right moment. Yeah, you need Sharing knowledge at the wrong time is the biggest mistake that you are uh, doing because of the past life karma. That's what I would say. tell to him. And each time you wait for the right moment, share your knowledge freely without any uh, restrictions, but share it at the right time, you will shine and you start new phase of your life a new uh, project will start for you uh, something that you would like to celebrate and you'll see that somewhere uh, things will fall at the right place at the right time for you after that because stars for me here in this context when i'm reading from astrological point of view it just shows me his uh, chart itself and shows me the transits somehow all his actions and the transits would so uh, be coinciding with each other in harmony with each other that he would know that right now the transits are tough he would automatically pull back sometimes without any guidance he would know that through a cosmic connection and sometimes when the transits are favorable with through that conspect connection he would just jump into doing the right thing remember the fool card taking the risk he would take the risk at the right time taking risk at the wrong time is something that he has been falling for because of the influence of past life because the guru in his life right now is not supporting him because he has mistreated his guru in the past life so what the guru came as a young person as a, a smaller person but he, he could have recognized that person and given him all the credit but he never did that he took all the knowledge from the guru and did not give him the credit that's what they are saying here that he now somewhere I'm looking for indication how and when the guru will come back in his life. He would. What the cards are still continuing with this uh, sharing of information is that that he at the he would be so close and working in harmony with universal consciousness and the transits in the 
sky, the star transits in the sky that he'll bring back balance in his life. Right now, uh, he lacks balance because the 8th house is like the tower card which gives sudden events which are very tough to handle and he would create boundaries around him because uh, if at all new people walk into his life, uh, he would allow only those people who are good for him, who help him to grow, who help him to start new things, learn new things, or share new things with others. Uh, especially help him to bring more subconscious knowledge out of him because he has got a lot of knowledge because he has learned a lot of knowledge in the past life and now he's not able to use it because he, uh, all that knowledge was learned without recognizing the guru. And through bringing more and more knowledge out from his subconscious mind and sharing it quickly with others, he would find immense amount of satisfaction, gain, and emotional growth. To fi Finally, he gets justice for everything that he has been suffering for in this life, which means that he would karmically finish every debt that he has from the past life, and now he would move on to a, a new thing and finally the guru comes yeah I, I was waiting for either this card or the hierophant card to see someone who would teach him something and i was more expecting this card someone who would uh, teach him to see the inner light rather than the acceptance of the worldly things and all i see uh, hierophant more as a venus which is outward planet also a guru for me but then i also see a hermit as jupiter someone who is helping you to see your inward light so great to see this card now we are moving to the other issue that he has which is that he needs someone now to show the future path once uh, he overcomes the karmic debt that he has to his guru uh, then he would be seeing his inner light with the blessings of the guru and he will find a lot of emotional satisfaction new beginnings in his life the times would change around him like the circumstances would change everything would change we'll see a lot of new beginnings coming from the time he would do that again creation of new knowledge uh, tapping into the hidden something which is unknown which is unmanifested and tapping into that aspect and bringing that to the world so more innovation not reuse of existing knowledge but creating new knowledge that's what i'm seeing with the guidance of his guru and what i'm seeing here is that he would also create a lot of applications because there's a lot of potential in his birth chart and it's not being recognized because of few obvious reasons that I see on his birth chart. So one of the reason was this and there's another reason which I'll deal with it in another video some other day. But uh, I want to send this video to him and see what his rec uh, reaction is and then based on that i'll work on the other aspect because i've briefly mentioned that other aspect to him so what i'm seeing here is that there is a lot of in hidden knowledge that is going to come out through him and he's going to create a lot of applications of those hidden knowledge but then there is worry some kind of worry about yeah the, with whom he should share that because his logical mind would not allow him to share all the knowledge with others because he doesn't know whom to trust whom not to trust his mind would play tricks and then he would send out uh, 
lot of messages to to a lot of people about sharing his knowledge but he doesn't know who is the right person and who is the wrong person that's where he needs a guru in that stage also so f- i feel that to overcome this obstacle that he has because what's the point of innovating something if you cannot share with a lot of people there's no point so he, he needs the guru even more at the second half one, the first cycle would be very smooth once he finds his guru who would help him to create a lot of knowledge tap into a lot of the unknown things but then he would even need more help and support and guidance of his guru when he has to share that knowledge with others because he has to share it in the right way with the right people in the most balanced way so again the king of wand is coming back for him here so i feel that the moment i thought that he would need more gu- uh, support and guidance from his guru then the, the we started seeing a lot of positive cards so what i'm seeing here is that there would be some kind of situation somewhere he, where he would get tested that the guru would want assurance are you still with me or have you just gone on your own journey because he has to be a subordinate of the guru he cannot go over and above the guru only if he has very high aspirations for himself then he can only pray that his guru has to get a step above to his uh, aspir uh aspirations that's what i feel so he he has to get into that if he has to become that, that successful he has to think that his guru has to become even more successful and he has to pray to the universe self consciousness about that and then he, one day uh, uh, even the guru would recognize him as more superior but to reach that journey he has to constantly uh, treat himself as a subordinate to his guru his supervisors even now in his present job where he is feel facing a lot of trust issues and he should always pray that the supervisor should grow and grow and grow uh, in their job because the more successful the boss would be the more successful he would become in life and one day uh, there would be a point where this boss would come and say that no you are my superior and i want to learn these things from you the, something that he was supposed to do in his last life and he didn't do it will happen to him in this life but after going through a lot of struggles and pains because he has to also pay the karma bad debt and then he moves on to start a new journey a new phase in his life i think that's where the cards want me to end so what i want to ask is when will he manifest a guru in his life but that will give me an idea for him that how long he has to go through the suffering right now where he would put in hard work and he would not get recognition but one way which the cards showed was he should constantly pray for success for his boss Uh, and this uh, boss uh, is he is a typical man who is very much self focused whenever he goes and asks for suggestions yes that is a good idea and good way to do it i don't know if you like it please do that if you don't like it don't do it i don't know you can you can try it that's the reaction that uh, he gets and the way he describes is like i i always ask him your uh, does your boss has uh, any opinion about anything and we both laugh and he feels frustrated and i just have to <laughs> leave it there 
So we have eight strength card and let's see what else do we have. Queen of Swords. I, I don't think it's very far away. Uh, we are in the month of October right now. Queen of Swords would be like 13 months. No, not 13. Yeah, 13 months. 13 months from now would be uh, November. That doesn't add up because I'm looking for Leo season somewhere in August. So somewhere around that time. But... 13 months is somewhere the journey for positivity is going to start. A big change will come for him somewhere in 13 months from now. So 13 months from now, a big change. And this change will lead to a lot of of progressive success for him materialistic success which means a uh, lot of many promotions will keep coming for him uh, for next 14 years so somewhere in around end of 2022 he'll see the first success there would be a big change in his life maybe he will uh, change his job attract a new boss who would be more supportive more uh willing to guide him help him uh as a guru and whatever it is uh, he would attract a new boss new job or some kind of big change and that change will give him very good success for 14 years that's what i'm seeing here and by the end of 14 here he 14th year he would be in a very comfortable financial position and he would be very happy and he would be having huge success in whatever he is doing and then he would want to leave all that to do something new uh, he would want to challenge himself because he would be so recognized that he through this that recognition he would feel that he has created a lot of boundaries he can he would be so recognized in the public that he cannot go move around freely something like that and he want to break all those patterns or self-created uh, uh, doubts that comes with rec recognition he would want to break that pattern so uh, in the 15th year he would be working uh, he would take a break because here I'm seeing two eight cards. So I'm uh, very easy for me to say that he would take a break for around eight months. Uh, and then he would start something new in the end of the 15th year from 2022. Yeah, that's when he would get into a second phase of his life where... Uh, spiritual guru will come in his life and who would show him uh, his inner light which with which he would start a new phase of independent remember we spoke about innovation and all those aspects he would get into those kind of aspects very independently although he would be under the supervision of his guru spiritual guru but then the spiritual guru will only show him that this is the path and that's a huge jungle and these are the do's and don'ts to walk on this path and I'll see you on the other side of the jungle if you survive this walk. And that's where the guru would leave him showing the path and telling him everything that he should take care of on this path. And that's when what I'm seeing here is that he would very independently and very successfully and confidently move forward on that path. At least that's how he would start. And then uh, I think that he at least first few years he will glide through that path. And somewhere towards the finishing line he would have a kind of uh, terrible 
loss of confidence. That is something. And then someone will come. Possibly the guru will send someone or guru would change his form into someone as an equal to him to come and help him because the guru doesn't want to show his superiority all the time gurus are not like that gurus usually transform themselves and come in different forms as different persons and someone would come to help him and this time the guru is coming in the form of as an external figure more like venus so even I, uh, I have a feeling that the person who would come would be a female. I, I, I somehow can see that. And this female would show him the right path to move forward. Remember we were talking about whom to trust, whom not to trust, whom to give the knowledge and whom not to give the knowledge. That's where a female will come and show him the path to move forward and he would agree to that female very quickly and very fast he would disseminate all the knowledge and end this whole process so yeah the timings are like at least uh, first half of the life uh, which is uh, after going through this karmic debt will start uh, the karmic debt would end 13 months from now and he would see early signs in from the time when the Leo period starts, which is end of July next year. End of July next year, he would see the signs that uh, now everything is getting dissolved and people are suddenly showing interest in him. And then uh, towards November next year, he would start that journey of 14 years uh, or uh, 14 to 15 years and then somewhere he'll take a break in the 15th year and then he'll start a new journey and how long this journey is I'm not very sure because at this stage I was so lost in the message I did not get into that aspect and I think that the universe doesn't want to reveal that because if that was supposed to be an important message for him at this stage the universe would have brought my attention there. So I would just leave it there for him. So the good news for him is that somewhere in July next year, end of July next year, he'll start seeing positive things happening in his life. And it would be a very long spell of positivity for him. So he would enjoy that and he would celebrate that. So only uh, recommendation and warning for him is not to... Uh, get into a situation where he would have an argument with his boss supervisor right now and everything else is good for him so i'm going to end this video here and i'll wait for his reaction uh, in the meantime if you are a astrology enthusiast or a tarot enthusiast or you are professional or seasoned astrologer or a tarot card reader please leave your comments below i'll be very happy to listen to your comments thank you so much until next time bye bye and namaste